Hey guys, welcome to another episode. This is Chris from Mintech. Um, as you may have recalled, I did a video a few weeks ago on a TacX Pro inside the waistband holster, and that got me thinking. I did uh, post it on social media, and it got me thinking about um, neoprene holsters and safety of neoprene holsters. And so I kind of want to get some feedback from you guys. Um, <clears throat> Some of the people that brought up on social media um, brought up the fact that they're not safe because of the uh, material being soft and the potential for the uh, misfire to occur because of the trigger and it getting poked and all this other stuff. And uh, seriously, I found one event, one occurrence where an individual had a neoprene holster. But as I go back to that video, and I wish I could actually show you um, the occurrence of this happening, but if you go back to that video, um, it actually was a holster that the uh, trigger guard was not covered on the back side, so there was access to the trigger guard and to the trigger with that particular neoprene holster. Now, granted, whatever holster you decide to get, you have to make sure that that trigger guard, guard is covered so that there is no uh, chance of an accidental misfire. And so <clears throat> this makes the TACX Pro a little bit different, in my opinion, in the fact that the uh, trigger is covered and um, the strap kind of keeps that keeps that gun inside the holster and so I want to get your opinion I just want to show you just some video of me trying to actuate a trigger on a Taurus G2 and I did take the safety off it is it is uh, totally unloaded so I did take the manual safety off just in case you have a striker fire gun that has no other safety other than your pointer finger other than your bang switch finger and so I'm trying to uh, activate that trigger to see if I can get some sort of misfire to occur and so I'll be using my Taurus G2 which fits in there uh, fits in there very well and uh, I like I said I'm taking it off safety so I can see if I can get that trigger to actuate at all and I can do the same thing with the uh, the Walther PK380 or I could use uh, any number of other pistols inside that thing just to see if I can get an accidental uh, accidental misfire. So um, I'm going to show you how that works, and uh, you can see if there's any issues with that. It would take to take quite an act, quite uh, uh, a number of stars aligning in order for an accidental misfire to occur um, with this particular holster. So let's check it out. So first of all, I just want to show that this gun is clear. You can see inside the chamber, there's no bullet. And there are no rounds in the magazine. I have taken the manual safety off, so it is free to fire and it is racked and ready to roll. All right, so I do have it in the TACX Pro holster, and you can see that the trigger guard is completely covered up. And uh, so let's attempt to uh, see if we can get the trigger to actuate. Now that's going to take some sort of pressure within the trigger guard, I can feel the, feel the trigger with my fingernail. But again, this is going appendix, between appendix and three o'clock position. That's how I usually carry. And so it would take, there's just no, whatever it is, I have a hard thing. Let's try something else. Um, all right, I got, I got this knife. Let's see if that helps. It may touch it a little bit, but <clears throat> it is not going all the way back. The break point is towards the back. Just, I'm going to just show you. First of all, it, it also, it's got two safety mechanisms. It's got the mechanical or manual safety mechanism, but it also has the paddle safety mechanism. So what I was hitting when I had that knife running against the neoprene, I was hitting the edge of that edge of that trigger and that's not going to go. It is not going to fire unless this paddle inside of the mechanism, again, it's safe, nothing in there. It would take quite the pressure to be able to, uh, to be able to actuate that, that uh, trigger. And there's my reset point right there. 
This is actually a nice trigger, even though the wall is way back here. <sighs> it's a nice feeling gun. Anyway, let's go back to let's go back to uh, what we intended to do. Um, as you can see, with this particular gun, this gun, the G2, which I would probably normally carry inside of this this holster, even with a knife. Which is hard, and I'm, and I'm trying to get it in there. There's just no way. It's not going to happen. So, tell me guys, what do you think? What are your opinions on neoprene holsters and carry? Here's the thing I like, and I pointed out before, is the comfort of carrying with this holster at appendix position between appendix and 3 o'clock. It is a very comfortable holster. Um, the trigger guard is completely covered up. The chances of having a misfire with this particular holster is like slim to none. And so I just want to know your guys' opinion. There's a lot of people out there, like I said before, who would say that they would not carry a neoprene holster because of the chance of misfire. And uh, I honestly, I don't know. Also, this holster... It is a little bit protector in the fact that you have a metal plate that's right here too. So it is uh, it takes up half of that that trigger space right there. So anyway, give me your opinion. Let me know um, what do you see as a risk. What do you see as a risk in carrying a neoprene holster like this one? Hey guys, I forgot to point out one other thing, which also makes a huge difference. And that is the fact when you carry appendix or any anywhere with this holster, I'm going to show you something where the trigger guard actually lines up. Trigger guard is right there. Now, if you can put a poker or a stick or a, I don't know, something through this belt and get to that trigger guard, you let me know. Okay, because I would like to see that happen where you'd get a misfire in that particular situation. All right, this trigger guard is completely protected. Okay, I'm just going to pull it up. Trigger guard, right there. There's no way that you're going to get something through this belt or a leather belt or any kind of carry belt into the trigger guard. Tell me what you think. All right, one last thing. Did I mention that it's the most comfortable holster that I've used to date? That's my last thing. All right, guys, comment, like, share, whatever. You know the routine.